summertime. Hey. Summer, summertime. Hey. Real soft. I'm with Blake. Yo, my people, what's going on? There's Elijah Fenn here with Fenn Unboxing. Back with another one. Make sure you like, it, like, it, you know, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, obviously we're going to have to go through um, what's happened on the weekend, um, the post night review. Obviously I've done a quick, um, I uploaded a video based upon, um, you know, about the stupid decision with um, Chisora and Parker, which I will be giving another another feedback on it today. Uh, but yeah, let's just run through the card. First one, this one is based on um, Craig Richards versus, sorry, Dimitri Bivo versus Craig Richards. Um, obviously, like I said, I was, I was going for my heart for this one. Yeah, I wanted Craig Richards to do it. Um, he showed it. He, he put he put on he put on a good perform. See, the thing is, is like if Richards continued how he finished the how he was ending the um, coming towards the end of the bout, if he started a, a bit earlier and just give um, Bivol less more respect, he would have done. Yeah, he, he it would have been. Um, yeah, he he would have put Bivol under under pressure to perform, um, as in yeah, as in put a st step on the gas. But overall, you have to give it to Richards. Like big 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 respect for you, brother. Um, obviously, we know we know when you, it's the same kind of thing where you're done with um, Buglioni. Uh, definitely, it's funny enough. He's took the, he's took he's took the shot. He went for it. Um, I know a lot of people were expecting him to be sparked out. Uh, yeah, no, nah, you know what? You know what? He he, he done he done he done, he done his proud, even though the scorecards didn't not um, show what the fight was really out about, especially with the whole matchroom. The matchroom scorecards was a bit ridiculous. But then again, I'm pretty sure was it Matthew Macklin said how? Uh, yeah, he said he said the scorecards doesn't show the fight because it was like I said it was it was really um, it was really like I said really close rounds and that. But yeah, as an overall, big respect to Craig Richards. Where does he go from there? Obviously, I heard he was referring to going for like a European title. He's definitely on that level. Like, there's there's no questions about it. Big respect to you, brother. Um, yeah, like I said, and as I said, you know how everyone talks about the light heavyweight scene. They always hear, you always hear about Bawatsi. You hear about Yard. You hear about um, Johnson. Now, obviously, you, um, Linda Arf is in the mix. Craig Richards is up there. If not right now, based on his performance, like obviously Yard went to fight. Um, Yard went to fight. Oh, geez, who is it? Yard, um, Kovalev. Uh, obviously he got stopped. Got stopped late, but like I said, it was a bit. It was a bit too early for him. Callan Johnson and and um, Arthur Paterbiev. Yeah, really competitive. Like I said, really competitive. But Craig Richards against Bivol, you got to give it a bit of respect, man. So yeah, like I said, you see when it comes to the whole light heavyweight scene, Port Craig Richards up there, yeah, because like I said, he Miguel Miguel Jim Miguel's um gym fighter as well, um south of the river as well. So yeah, listen, give give that brother respect. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Real humble guy from what I see of him. Uh yeah, just give the give give the give the guy respect, man. Give the guy respect. Put put him in there. He's definitely in the mix. But like I said, he's now surpassed the whole he surpassed the whole um the domestic scene, if I'm honest. So yeah, give that brother respect. Yeah, big, big respect, big respect to Richards for obviously even taking the challenge. As far as Bivol, Bivol, like to be honest with you, I know like um, he's actually I know I know people don't think much of him. Uh, well, well, not really think much of him, but don't feel like he's performing. I said he 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 just does enough. He just does enough. Bivo, yeah, the jab, the jab was sharp, playing in, in and out of range, yeah, like, he, been Bivo just doing his thing, man, so, uh, yeah, he done, he, he done his thing, what I feel next for Bivo, definitely should be looking at unification, obviously we know that Joe Smith and, what was it, Joe Smith and Baturbia are going for unification bouts, then, yeah, whoever wins out on top of that, Run it back. Well, Joe Smith could run it back with um, uh, Bivo, or if not that, go yeah, go for the Paterbia fight. That's the, to be honest with you, that's the fight that I would want. That's actually one of my favorite fights to make right now. After Paterbia against Bivo, like yeah, but 
that's my thoughts on it. Uh, where does Richard go from here? Yeah, definitely. Uh, he's definitely in contention for a European title. Yeah, put put him in a European title. He don't really need to go back down to the domestic scene. Um, he's done. He, like I said, he's he's done. He's, he's done. He's paid his just dues in the domestic scene. Obviously, he's definitely in the mix of the yards and the Bawatsis. Well, Arthur um, Johnson, Richards. To be really honest with you, out of all. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a mix-up. It's a mix-up. So yeah, let's get get these fights. Get these fights. If, if those domestic fights are gonna happen, put Spider Richards is up in there, isn't it? As as that one's one of the tops right now, because like I said, he, he's, he's performed in it. So yeah, that's my thoughts on it. You lot tell me your thoughts. It's Elijah Fenn with Fenn unboxing. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes, and then to the next one. Stay blessed, everyone. Cool. Summertime, hey. summer, summertime, too soft, I'm with late.